Welcome, Query Singles. That's your reading. We we'll call it the <clears throat> Four Pillars reading. So we'll do something a little different with this. Yeah, pretty new um, reading. But what we're going to do is try to identify who is your person. Hola, Who's, amigos. Well, yeah, Sorry. Here. Sorry. Yeah. And oh, we're kind of trying to decay out of your way so you can see the ocean back there, right? <laughs> Uh, very uh, Placido 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 uh -huh. Placido today I'm quiet today. Yeah Not much wind uh, no? Normally we got uh, Cars are flying away See uh, It's beautiful And the, the, You can hear waves but I don't know if you hear them on the mic They're, they're mm -hmm. soft sounding like Yesterday was a lot And Yeah So all right, Aquarius singles. Just for the first part of March, sorry we're a tad late here. Get on speed next week. We'll get them out for the second part of March before the second part of March. That's what the period we're talking about here in general. And, um, let's see. You want to do the single see? spread? I'm going to show so four one pillars more. are the uh, emotional aspects, mm -hmm. uh, intellectual aspects, the um, sexual connection, and the relationship, and the lifestyle connection. Okay. We have the nine of pentacles with the king of cups, two of wands, mm -hmm. nine of swords, the king of swords. Mm -hmm. The King of Wands. Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands, okay. Okay. Mm. The Fool and the Six of Pentacles. This is the intellectual, emotional, the emotional intellectual, intellectual, sexual, sexual and lifestyle. lifestyle. Sorry Quite for a, my English. <laughs> uh, don't apologize. <laughs> I, I think everyone understands. Um, Wow, so I gotta go to the sexual first. Hello. <laughs> uh, sexually dominant. This is the last thing. You're not gonna. What I like to say with this pretend you're on a date and we're gonna try to like describe the person sitting across from you. Hopefully, you talk, you find out a good bit about them, get a sense of them, you know. Um, so that's what we're gonna be more describing than their physical features. We might come up with uh, some astrology, and I like to do that sexually. And we could be de dealing with a fire Mars if you know their astrology. I'm gonna go with the Knight of Wands there, but they, um, someone that's dominant sexually and hot, so this is supposed to be your person, so if you don't <laughs> like that, uh-oh, we're in trouble, um, but sometimes we don't know what we want until we get it, right, I'm saying, so, um, then we'll back up into the emotional <laughs> part, <laughs> and, uh, you know, what comes to me is someone is pretty well balanced mm -hmm. here. Yes, because have the love and also yeah. it's uh, emotional available. So I could say too, I like go a little bit with astrology. I'm an astrologer. Always try to get people's astrology. Uh, you know, uh, they could have like a Capricorn moon or a Capricorn Venus. So uh, Aquarius moon, Aquarius Venus. So because emotionally they could be just a stable type of person, you know, you don't, mm -hmm. they're not someone that's excitable uh, and they have uh, good boundaries and um, they can, you know, detach when they need to, you know, but they, they're not unemotional. Mm -hmm. you know? So there's someone who's very appropriately emotional. So one thing you might find in a date with someone like this is they don't have a history of relationships um, that are toxic or oh. uh, yeah mm -hmm. um, they have a history. transactional any kind of transactional relationships mm -hmm. they're probably going to have a history of emotionally healthy relationships and mm -hmm. there's a lot of reasons why relationships don't work but for them I don't think that was one of them oftentimes those type people do draw unstable people because they're drawn to it that energy, that mm -hmm. energy, just that energy. You know, nobody, nobody ever thinks about it, but you're just drawn to this energy mm -hmm. of emotional stability sometimes, you know. 
Um, so, you know, like this person, you would never say they're not warm. So, like, you wouldn't say, okay, well, yeah, they're not emotional. It's not like that. It's just it might be hard to really assess in a short meeting, but over time, they would definitely show you this uh, kind of energy. But I think, like I said, from their history, you might find something about their past relationships. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then intellectually, all of this reading, it's challenging to me to try to read the, See, the such a different ones position. in the knife of swords in the intellection yeah and i i sometimes hear because i'm thinking about you're you're with them and you're listening to their story so i'm mm -hmm. trying to get something that they may say or not say or something you may become aware of about them or, um, mm -hmm. that um, would identify kind of how their mind works you know and this could be a kind of like either or thinking who and is thinking could be the the religions no if i which, follow with right, my religion black and white thinking or, and make but i feel like i feel like the knight of swords and if i don't follow i feel like the knight of swords like uh maybe he's looking for something different no to intellectual yeah yeah um i'd say this about this person you would notice that they're um probably going to trust their um, gut instinct and their emotions in a natural way that they might not talk about that but I mean they may but mm -hmm. it's just going to be a natural part of their identity that they mm -hmm. they trust their gut to such a point that they maybe not don't even like have a thought sometimes <laughs> you know what I mean like mm -hmm. the thought that comes so far they're just listening or whatever watching and they're like mm-hmm uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's not even a thought mm. process going on. It's just like an awareness uh, um, that may go on with them. And I just this black and white thinking, like they either or. Uh, you may I think you would get that sense from them, you know. Which and with the nine of swords, it's kind of like negativity. And See? so this can often come like from difficult childhoods and or being in difficult situations and. Um, um, this is that uh, uh, energy of uh, being hyperly aware of your surroundings and overly uh, PTSD uh, in mm -hmm. some way mm -hmm. and um, feeling uh, so intellectually I, I think too it might be someone when they're speaking they might like guard their words a lot uh, and when they do speak it might be like this this black and white speaking like something comes up that and they're just like boom and you mm -hmm. might you're gonna see how they kind of they're not so willing to be subtle in the way they think in nuanced ways you know intellectually they're gonna be something's right something's wrong mm -hmm. you, again your religion you're not yeah that can come from religion right there that mm -hmm. uh, right and wrong because I mean right and wrong there is right and wrong but it, in a way it has a an interesting relationship with the intellect but so it might be someone you know, when they're growing up they were told things you know very early mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, it's that maybe censors their thoughts too um, and that's something to be hard to tell in, on a date uh, other than they may take a moment like the, mm -hmm. when they're like like if you speak about something emotional they're there like connected with you mm -hmm. and even when you're looking in their eyes you could have that feeling like that they're there they're connected I'm with them mm -hmm. emotionally and then it shifts to some intellectual thing particularly where it may involve them uh, taking a stance or so in something or something about their ego intellectually that is important to them mm -hmm. and, there, and it could be like this hesitation where they kind of disappear for a minute as you're looking at like they go somewhere and yeah I think it's like that with them so um, and this could be someone I think that may not tell you really everything they believe mm -hmm. and, and uh, everything they've thought about like they don't want to tell you their thoughts I think there's one mm -hmm. thing Mm -hmm. and they may guard their thoughts there's mm -hmm. this guarding of their own thoughts like even like from themselves like they may want not really look at their own thoughts somehow mm -hmm. um, and um, so they're probably they're, they're not gonna want to engage you in their inner life 
So it'd be a lot of emphasis on you then or something else like outside, you know. But I think like you'll see, I got a feeling you're going to see this hesitation when you, if you can get what I'm talking about. So we went over the sexual part. Um, and there's nothing inappropriate here. Here they have, I see a very appropriate arrangement. The king of swords, he sends out the knight of wands. Uh, a hint in bed they may like talking or you know they may either like to talk dominant or they, other way around um, probably them since this is supposed to be your guy you know, knight of wands now in the lifestyle what can we say about that mm. because that's quite the fool starting the fool's mm -hmm. journey um, like, <clears throat> she like to make uh, new things no mm. Yeah, but he thinks very open, uh, very open, like a very with a lot of energy. Maybe, maybe no? yeah, maybe happy go lucky, mm -hmm. maybe gullible, maybe even maybe, but you know, definitely not mm -hmm. and afraid. And that make the equilibrium, the balance in his life about all the. You know? Yeah, because definitely mm -hmm. the six of pentacles so different. That's mm -hmm. almost like the very definition of being like a, a, a balanced and grounded. Mm -hmm. You know. And you know this look he's weighing the pinnacles mm -hmm. of all things and here's the fool is leaping off the cliff in the beautiful uh, sunset or sunrise um, so I think too this could be someone you're gonna find that kind of recently uh, started something new and uh, maybe something kind of neat or different or in some way kind of impressive uh, something um, definitely that would account would be uh, in terms of their story uh, uh, something they wanted to do they didn't start like a new job selling mm. encyclopedias and getting more money or something they, they started something uh, recently that is uh, a meaningful new beginning for them and they're really going for it and I think with the six of Pentacles it could it kind of show, it shows that they're not foolish with money I don't think that's what this is it could I think there's a part of them that is able to go for it and I think that's why they are starting something new like they may have started something new numerous times in terms of like business and work career uh, but they're going about it in a balanced and careful way and and literally they may be needing to watch their coins right now because of starting a new business or something like that i think you might see that and what's going on or very recently and so this is kind of the energy of them uh like right now in terms of relationship with your singles we're assuming this will be very new you know you may find them telling you um you know to be honest with you i'm a little tight right now because i just started this new business i put a lot of money or I just moved somewhere and had to put a lot of money down and it's, you know, um, that kind of thing. So not bad, but it'd be interesting if you hear that story uh, from your person. So uh, thank you. <laughs>